Coming up, five things that's gonna make your life that little bit better. Hey everybody, it's Harry Kilimanjaro here from ThoughtGym.com, here helping you become the best leader that you can be. Giving you all the things that you need to think, feel, and be superhuman. And this week, I'm gonna share with you my five favorite things for March that are gonna help you get to that next level. Again, this continues the series that I've started in 2016 because I wanna share with you some of the things that have come into my life that have helped improve the quality of my life and I think we'll do the same for you. So, number one, first up, we have got this. What is this little thing? This is a Lumi, it's a daylight alarm clock. And what happens with this is you plug this into the wall socket, you set the time for what the time that you wanna wake up, and 30 minutes before that, the light gently starts to rise, a bit like a sunrise would. Why is this important? The reason it's important really is because you're not meant to just wake up just in shock horror when the lights come on or when the alarm comes on. You're gonna be in a very deep sleep. And what needs to happen is to mimic that normal circadian rhythm where you're gently being woken by a rising sun. Personally, I found this to be really, really useful, especially in the winter when I'm getting up in the mornings. I set it for, let's say, 6.20, which means at 10 to 6, the light starts to, to start to get brighter. I've experimented with it over time because it doesn't take me 30 minutes to kind of feel the effects of this. In fact, I'll feel it within like five or maybe at latest 10 minutes, which means I'll be waking up at six, which is the time that I want to be waking up. And what I find is that I'm getting up a lot easier, it's a lot gentler than when I'm just waking up at six and it's either pitch black or if it's in the middle of the summer, you suddenly open the blinds and you've got all the light in one go. You want that cortisol, that hormone, which is getting released in the morning to be gently starting to be released. So number one, the Lumi daylight alarm clock or another kind of daylight alarm clock, okay. Number two, we have got this. What is this little bottle? Well, there's many different types of bottle, but it's tamari sauce, T-A-M-A-R-I, tamari sauce. It's kind of like soy sauce, but it's without the gluten or the wheat, which is especially great if, like me, you don't tolerate gluten very well. And in fact, if I'm honest, uh, I don't know anyone that doesn't feel better when they go off gluten, and there is evidence coming out now to show that everyone is affected negatively by gluten, but we're not gonna go into that today, but, as a gluten-free option, tamari sauce, it tastes amazing. You put it into your stir fries. I know uh, deliciously Ella, or Ella Woodward, her cookbook always puts tamari in, in her, uh, what does she put it into her quinoa and into her rice. And I've tried doing that as well into the quinoa with a bit of lemon juice and a bit of tahini. And I've got to say it makes the, uh, the quinoa taste amazing. So number two is a bit of tamari sauce, low salt, no gluten, all good. Okay, number three, we have got this. What is this? This is, I don't know if you can see that there, but this is actually my heavily used yoga mat. It's a uh, Life For Me yoga mat, and I've got to say, it is the best yoga mat by far that I've personally tried. It has got great grip, and in fact, it increases my skills, I swear, in yoga by about double. I'm half the yogi without this mat, and so I absolutely love it. Uh, a friend of mine, James, spent five years designing, creating, getting this just right, so it's the best mat out there. Um, they're not the cheapest, I've got to say, but you get what you pay for. And at the end of the day, if you're a keen yogi like me, it's definitely worth the investment. And uh, I recommend uh, grabbing yourself one of those mats today and notice how your practice increases. Okay, number four, we have got this. What is this? This ridiculously heavy thing is my blender. It's called a Vitamix, which uh, you may have already heard of. Um, it is a heavy beast, and it's a big beast. This is a two liter capacity uh, jug, and this weighs a ton, so I'm gonna put it down. Whew, that's a workout in itself. But a Vitamix, uh, for anyone who's into their health and nutrition and food, uh, to feel supercharged is, in my opinion anyway, my experience, 
almost like a must. It, I've got to say, it took me a long time to get one. I was using a normal blender for a long time, and I thought, what's the point of spending all this money, because it is a huge investment uh, on a Vitamix. What's the difference? Well, all I can say is, kind of like the difference between driving a clapped out banger and a brand new Porsche or Ferrari. You know, they're both cars, they both might do the job, but one is gonna be a lot smoother and get you there in a lot quicker fashion. And a Vitamix is not your 30 pound type of blender. It is around 450 to 500 pounds, even more some of them, uh, which is a huge amount. And maybe it's the same in dollars because you guys get it a bit cheaper in the States, but I've got to say, once you get it, it will blend everything. I put everything in there, uh, including things like avocado pips, which you might think are too tough to go in a normal blender, but it makes everything so smooth. Uh, you can use, of course, Nutribullet. It's hugely popular, but it's not going to make it as fine. I've got some of those in our household as well. I uh, use them uh, for different means if I'm traveling or something like that, and the Vitamix you've seen is too heavy to take. But you know, there are other kinds of blenders out there which do a similar job. I don't have personal experience of them, but if you've got high power blender, those smoothies that you make, maybe those kale smoothies you've been hearing all about and all the nuts and seeds, and I, I literally put in 30 or more different types of ingredients, including lots of heavy veg, and it comes out so smooth. Okay, that was number four. Uh, number five is another app. It's, um, it's actually a podcast. It's called Zestology by Tony Wrighton, who is super keen on all things to do with health, vitality, motivation, and getting you being a, a superhuman person as well, much like myself. Uh, I take a lot from that podcast. Um, I think it's really great. It's one of two podcasts that I listen to every single episode of. The other one, of course, was The Model Health Show, which I uh, profiled in an earlier earlier video. So yeah, just search for it on iTunes or go to Zestology um, or TonyWrighton.com, I think is his website. I'll put it down below for you to check out. Um, or maybe on Stitcher, which is the Android app, you can find Zestology. You've got some great guests, really good interviewing style. He's got a lot of experience both on the radio and uh, works for Sky Sports here in the UK. So he's pretty competent um, and you'll learn a lot from that in terms of health, vitality and motivation. Okay, those were my five favorite things for March. That was the daylight alarm clock from Lumi. That was the Tamari sauce. That was the yoga mat from Life For Me. The super blender from Vitamix. And of course the podcast Zestology. I do hope those things are gonna be of service to you. Try and check them out between uh, the next month's video on my five favorite things and see what you think uh, Think of any of those things. Until next time, remember to subscribe. Apologies, it was a slightly longer video than usual, but these ones tend to be a bit longer because I'm explaining things, but hopefully they are serving you in some positive way. Please do let me know any comments you've got below and I will happily answer them. Until next time, remember to do what you can to think, feel, and be superhuman. I'll see you very soon.